Hello, welcome to another episode of This, That, and the Other. And when I lived in Huntsville, Alabama back in the 1960s, late 60s, I remember hearing commercials on the radio for a place called Roby's Roast Beef. Roby's, R-O, capital R-O, and then capital B-E, apostrophe S, Roby's. And didn't last very long. Then they were changed to Roy Rogers, which didn't stay in Huntsville very long either. But I thought maybe those two companies were entirely different businesses. Maybe Roby's was one that just short-lived fast food chain that just didn't do anything, kind of like um, Mini Pearls. Anyway, turned out um, Roby's later, the name was later changed to Roy Rogers. Roby's House of Beef Chain was founded in Fort Wayne, Indiana in 1967. The Azar's Big Boy Restaurant franchise has started Roby's House of Beef Restaurants. And then the Mar Marriott Corporation acquired Bob's Big Boy and the Big Boy Trademark, which acquired Roby's in February 1968 with plans to expand nationwide. Roby's franchises would be offered to Big Boy franchises to coincide with their existing Big Boy territory. At the time, there were 13 Roby's restaurants in six states. During the acquisition in January of 1968, Arby sued Roby's for trademark infringement and other similarities that considered unfair competition because Roby's sounded too much like Arby's. The settlement required a new brand name, and Marriott wanted something recognizable. Big Boy founder Bob Lyon, then on the Marriott's board of directors, was friend with Roy Rogers' agent and suggested the company approach Rogers about the use of his name, already interested in associating with a restaurant chain. Rogers was in similar discussions with another company when Marriott called. Nonetheless, he accepted Marriott's offer. Rogers would receive a licensing fee for the use of his name and also be paid for personal appearances at the restaurant. Restaurants would then be called the Roy Rogers Roast Beef Sandwich Restaurants. And despite Arby's complaints, it retained Roby's building design and covered wagon logo design. So, kind of interesting. I, I do remember that um, Roy Rogers on the restaurants and didn't really last that long, to tell you the truth. But that, that was, that was the um, signs that they had and when I actually came to Northern Virginia back from being in Okinawa back in 1976, I, I did see the the old Roy Rogers sign on one of the restaurants, and you, you don't see it anymore. But anyway, that's what I was able to find out on the history of the Roby's name. Kind of, kind of an interesting story, and... going to show you something else here. It'll pop up here, yes. Yes, that's Roy Rogers sign now and the re what the restaurant looks like. And like I've said before, I'm looking for more ideas on shows to do in the future. I'm getting close to 800 shows, and I'm running out of ideas, although little by little, ideas do come up. So I'm getting closer to 800. I want, I want to get to 1,000. I really would like to do that in a couple of years. And any ideas on shows I can do in the future, especially shows about preserving history, mainly obscure aspects of history, kind of like this one was. And with that being said, like, subscribe, share, as always. Thanks for watching.